Could I ask everyone to please continue standing and I will ask Clara Jagernik to come to the podium and help us in leading us in O Canada. That was wonderful. Please be seated. Oh, this is so exciting. What a great group we have today, and the weather has cooperated. Good afternoon and welcome to our 2016 convocation. I'm Mary Thompson. I'm the principal here at NSCC Shelburne, as well as Burridge Campus and the Digby site. We are so very, very pleased that you could join us today. And as we begin today's ceremony, I would first like to acknowledge that we are in traditional Mi'kmaq territory. Apsilase. Welcome to our graduates and to those who have gathered here today and also are joining us via live streaming to celebrate and honor your achievements. Today is a very special day for our graduates. We celebrate their hard work and dedication in meeting their respective program requirements. Today we have 88 students that will receive their certificates and diplomas in some seven programs that we offer here at Shelburne Campus. I would like now to introduce our platform guests and I would ask that you would hold your applause until everyone has been introduced please. So we'll be starting at my far right and with the back row the first person is Gary Elliott, our Dean of Academic and Quality Assurance and Program Development. Jill Provo, our Dean, School of Access and Flexible Learning. Ian McLeod, Dean of the School of Applied Arts and New Media. Marlene McClellan, the Dean of the School of Health and Human Services. And Lucy Canary, Dean of the School of Trades and Technology. Patsy McDonald, our college registrar. Rob Angove, our manager of student services. And Hella Jorgensen, our campus registrar. And in the front row and starting at my far right is Monica Foster, our vice president administrative services. Anna Burke, vice president enrollment. Catherine McLean, vice president learner and college development. Rosalind Penfound, our Vice President Academic. Christabel Pension, Secretary to the Board of Governors. Carla Wilms, Academic Chair. And Dwayne Dakin, Academic Chair. <laughs> now it's my extreme privilege as your principal and on behalf of our president of the Nova Scotia Community College to deliver this year's convocation address. I would like to begin by first asking our faculty and staff to please stand for a moment. 
Standing before us, ladies and gentlemen, is a group of employees that's second to none in the province. They are wonderful. They are experts in their field. They are generous with their knowledge and their time, and they view our students as full partners in learning. I want to say a very special thank you to them for making our campus such a special place to learn. Let's take a moment now to recognize these wonderful people. <laughs> Folks, we couldn't do it without you. Thank you. Now I'd also like to take this opportunity to recognize and thank three employees who will be retiring at the end of this academic year. I would ask them to stand once I've called their name. Our first retiree is Jared Fleming, faculty with the Adult Learning Program. The second is Donna Bauer, our cook. And anybody who has ever been to Shelburne campus knows she is a cook superior. And Linda Stoddard, our employment specialist with the Career Resource Center. I thank you all for your service. You're going to be missed. There is a reason this group of people is so committed to you, our graduates. They know that knowledge and skills are forms of empowerment. Truly, education is power. They know that achievements in the classroom, in the lab, and on work terms add up to something that is truly life-changing, not only for you as a student, but for all of those closest to you, for your families, your friends, and our communities. Everyone at NSCC knows that when their knowledge and skills combine with a student's sense of purpose and determination, something transformative happens, and there's no stopping you. Together, they create a powerful force for change. The details and the stories may be different student by student, but as no two dreams are, like, are alike, no two stories are the same as well. I want to just take, give you an example of a story. Gabrielle was a recent graduate of the class of 2014 from NSCC. Gabrielle is a strong and independent young woman who early in adulthood found out that she was about to become a single parent. Then her son was born with life-threatening conditions. As an infant, he faced literally dozens of surgeries if he was to survive. Gabrielle felt lost and she was afraid. Her baby boy was sick and she couldn't help. But in the midst of all that fear and worry, she realized something. She felt a little better when she asked questions. She felt even a little bit better when the nurses took the time to answer her questions and explain what was next and why it was necessary, knowledge. She was still scared, but Gabrielle found the courage, she found strength in the knowledge that the nurses had shared with her. And it dawned on Gabrielle that in this unshakable way that the real honest truth often comes up and grabs us, that she must find a way to offer the same comfort to others. As soon as her baby boy was stable, she looked into the practical nursing program at NSCC. But she didn't have the science courses that the program required. She could have just said, well, that's it. I don't have a choice. But she persevered. Instead, she found the courses that she needed in our school of access. She'd been out of school for a number of years. Physics and chemistry seemed like a foreign language. I'm sure some can relate. She still persisted, however, and she was accepted into the practical nursing program. Now her little boy is thriving, and Gabrielle is working full-time in a dialysis unit. Her advanced skills provide people with medical treatments they need. Her knowledge and compassion give patients the comfort and courage that she knows will keep their fear at bay. If you ask Gabrielle today why she became a practical nurse, this is what she will tell you. I got into nursing for my son, to show him that you can overcome obstacles, you can be whatever you want to be, your destiny and your fate are your own. Gabrielle was fueled by her own goal 
empowered by the knowledge and skills to achieve it, and now she's paying it forward in a very real way to her son and to her patients. Knowledge combined with purpose and determination is transformative. Together they create a powerful, positive change. Here at Shelburne Campus, I've seen some real life examples of empowerment through knowledge and how our students and faculty have paid it forward and how it's created a positive change in our community. At Halloween, our students and staff undertake a service learning project with the creation of the haunted house for the community. Much work and creativity goes into this project, which provides lots of frightening entertainment and lots of fun for the community. The real benefactor for this project is the Shelburne County Pets Project. This activity has been ongoing and is a major fundraiser for the nonprofit organization. Our students and staff pay it forward. Now I've got a question for you. What do you get when you combine a broken foosball table and our plumbing students? Notice I didn't do it as a knock knock joy. Okay. You get a new life to a piece of equipment for the local youth center. Finding a broken foosball table at the curbside, students brought it back to the campus and using their skills that they had learned, built little metal foosball players and put new legs on the table. The table was soon better than new. Our students then brought it back to our house, the youth center here in Shelburne, where it provides en enjoyment and entertainment for those at the center. They put their knowledge to work to pay it forward. Those are just two examples of a variety of things that our students do. Our students, our, your community is, needs you, and as we all know, these are only a small way that you will continue to make a positive impact. Now often the first to benefit from this powerful force for positive change are those closest to us, the same friends and family who lent their love and support as they worked our way through your learning journeys. Sometimes things were a little tough and you, you leaned on friends, family, and some of the new friends that you made. Now graduates, I know that there are many individuals here today who are very proud of what you've accomplished. They are the people who turn, you turn to when things got tough, when you needed an encouraging word. So, I now have one final request of you just before you're able to officially complete your program. No, it's not another test. I want to, for you to think for a minute of that important person or persons who offered you their love and support when you needed it and who's here in the room today. Have you got those people in your mind? I've asked you to think about that person or persons because we have a tradition here at NSCC, a tradition where we ask the members of the graduating class to stand and recognize those here today who have helped you in their, your success. So, here's the test. Now I would ask the graduating class to please stand Make eye contact and recognize those people in the room that have been part of your success and give them a wave. Come on. I hope that was the easiest test that you've ever had. Congratulations, you've now officially now completed your program. And finally, just before we begin presenting your hard-earned credentials, I want to acknowledge another group of important individuals that are here with us today. Graduates, I've talked to you about empowerment through knowledge and the importance of paying it forward in ways that strengthen you, your families, and your communities. Today you'll join a community of people who have been doing just that, our NSCC alumni. And soon you will be one of those alumni. This community knows how to meet uncertainty head on with a desire to figure things out and find a way forward. 
If the path doesn't exist, they make it. They are innovative, creative problem solvers. They don't stop learning because they know it makes a difference in their careers and in the lives of those around them. They personify the determination and perseverance that it takes to make life better for themselves and everyone else through learning. So, now I would like to take a moment to acknowledge the NSCC alumni here today. If you are a past graduate of NSCC or any of our uh, predecessor organizations and schools or a graduate of CCEDP, would you please stand so we can recognize you? And so grads, when you attend another convocation, you're gonna be standing up as well. In conclusion, and on behalf of the entire college, it gives me great pleasure to say congratulations, and I want you to make me a promise. After you walk across the stage today, I want you to take your certificate and diploma, and I want you to go out there and live life full of passion. You've worked hard to get here, don't stop. You have advanced skills and now the paper to prove it. You are now empowered through knowledge and skills. And you have a heart filled with purpose and a mind filled with promise to pay it forward. Again, congratulations to the graduates of 2016. Thank you for choosing NSCC. Good afternoon, everyone. I am honored to have the pleasure of announcing this year's graduates from the School of Trades and Technology. Madam Vice President, I present to you the following candidates who have completed all the requirements for credentials in the School of Trades and Technology. For the Certificate in Electrical Construction and Industrial, Daniel Andrews Honors. Justin Bambrick with Honors. Matthew Chutwin. Cody Clattenburg. Logan Cutrell. Jordan Fleming. Joshua Freeman.
appreciation of the audience, those students whose names appear in the program but who are unable to be with us today are automatically admitted to their respective certificates or diplomas. Ladies and gentlemen, the graduates in the electrical construction and industrial program. For the certificate in plumbing, Brendan Ashworth Honors. Joel Cutro. Remy Doran. Josh Gillis, honors. Brandon Johnson. Curtis Keeler, honors. Mitchell Langley, honors. Daniel Mossman. Chad Nickerson, honors. Joel Orm, honors. Stephanie Sampson, honors. Ladies and gentlemen, the graduates in plumbing. For the certificate in steam fitting, pipe fitting, Frederick Collicutt. Kier Essinger, <laughs> Joseph Hugh. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a tradition in the community college that when a faculty or staff person has a family member graduating, we offer them the opportunity to participate in the ceremony and present in the credential. Rhonda Sweeney joins us now to present her son with a certificate in steam fitting, pipe fitting. Jacob Mullen Sweeney, honors. Shane Potty. David Robichaud. Connor Rogers.
Kyle Sparks. Michael Swain. Ladies and gentlemen, the graduates in steam fitting, pipe fitting. For the Diploma in Ocean Resources, Fisheries and Aquaculture, Spencer Herbert, Honors. Nicholas Jodry. <laughs> Stephen McNeil. <laughs> Luke Schrader. Ladies and gentlemen, the graduates in ocean resources, fisheries, and aquaculture. <laughs> Madam Vice President, I present to you the following candidates who have completed all the requirements for credentials in the School of Health and Human Services for the certificate in continuing care. Mark Atkinson, Honors. <laughs> Jennifer Cosley, Honors. Alyssa Cox, Honors. <laughs> Faye Cox, Honors. <laughs> Rebecca Kroll. Jessica Guy Honors. Savannah Hiltz Honors. Jade Lewis. Laura Lightfoot, honors. Merla Nickerson, honors. Megan Race, honors. Becky Smith. Alexa Stewart, honors.
Cheyenne Wright. Tracy Young, honors. Ladies and gentlemen, the graduates in continuing care. For the Diploma in Early Childhood Education, Sherry Young, honors. Ladies and gentlemen, the graduate in early childhood education. <laughs> Madam President, I present to you the following candidates who have completed all the requirements for the credentials in the School of Business. For the Certificate in Medical Office Administration, Courtney Dolliver. <laughs> Samantha Harris. Courtney Little, honors. Ashton Nash. Ladies and gentlemen, the graduates in Medical Office Administration. The graduates of the Library and Information Technology Program completed their, pro their diplomas through part-time online delivery. They reside in other communities and provinces and are thus unable to be with us today. For the Adult Learning Program, Nova Scotia High School Graduation Diploma for Adults, a program delivered in partnership with the Department of Labor and Advanced Education. Madam Pre Vice President, I present to you the following candidates who have completed all the requirements for the High School Diploma for Adults. Robert Enslow, Honors. Matthew Perry. Nicole Williamson. gentlemen, the graduates in the adult learning program. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's wonderful that I present to you the graduating class of 2016, Shelburne Campus, Nova Scotia Community College. Good afternoon. 
I'm Rob Angove, Manager of Student Services. Before proceeding to the presentation of the major awards, I'd like to take a moment to recognize the special accomplishments of a number of our graduates. A student success celebration was held last night and recognition was given to graduates who achieved the highest academic standing in their respective programs. We also presented several awards for other accomplishments by graduating students. And I'd ask that those graduates please stand and be recognized here this afternoon. It now gives me great pleasure to announce this year's major award winners. The Governor General's Academic Medal is awarded to a graduating student of a college diploma program who's achieved the highest academic standing. This year's recipient is Sonia Mason. Sonia lives out of province and is unable to be here today, so we'll accept the award on her behalf and ensure it gets to her. But please provide a round of applause for Sonia. The Board of Governors Award is awarded to a graduating student of a college diploma program who's demonstrated outstanding academic achievement and contributed to campus and or community activities. I now ask Cristobal Pynchon, Secretary, Board of Governors, to present this award to Luke Schrader. The Nova Scotia Community College Foundation Award is awarded to a graduating student of a college program who's demonstrated outstanding academic achievement and whose service and leadership has made a difference in the lives of others. I now ask Catherine McLean, Vice President, to present this award to Mitchell Holland. The President's Award is awarded to a graduating student of a college certificate program who has demonstrated outstanding academic achievement and contributed to campus and or community activities. And I now ask Mary Thompson, Principal, to present this award to Jacob Mullen Sweeney. The Nova Scotia Community College Gold Medal is awarded to a graduating student of a college certificate program who has achieved the highest academic standing. I now ask Lucy Canary, Dean, Trades and Technology, to present this award to Justin Bambrick. Ladies and gentlemen, the award winners for the Nova Scotia Community College, Shelburne Campus 2016. I'm honored and privileged to introduce this year's valedictorian, Stephanie Sampson, Certificate Plumbing. Stephanie arrived on campus in September, ready to take on whatever came her way. She's bubbly and outgoing, and I'm told can be very convincing when she wants something to happen. Stephanie was selected as the inaugural winner of the Nova Scotia Community College Student Life Professionalism Award. Stephanie, I invite you to come and share your message with your graduating class.
already. <laughs> I didn't realize the room was going to be this big. Um, good afternoon, Principal Thompson, faculty and staff, platform guests, uh, our many family and friends, and of course the NSCC graduating class of Shelburne Campus 2016. It's truly an honor to have the opportunity to speak here with you today. We've all come to NSCC this year for many different backgrounds, yet all with a similar goal in mind, to better ourselves. Some came straight out of high school, while some, many of us came after deciding to take our lives in a new direction. All of us had the drive for change, and we needed something more out of our lives. It was something we realized was within our grasp, thanks to the programs at NSCC. I'll admit my entrance to college wasn't as gracefully planned out as it could have been. Last summer, I was stuck in a job that I wasn't enjoying. I knew that I wanted to change and that an education was the best way to go about it. It took a long time for me to think about it and decide what I wanted to take, but I knew that I wanted to go with a trade. In mid-August, one of my best friends called me up and told me that he was applying to NSCC to take the plumbing program. My response was not one of congratulations, but an unexpected, so when do we start? A couple days later, we applied, and within four days, I had received my acceptance letter. I had just been accepted to college. Cue panic. <laughs> In a rush, I called and found a room, quit my job of four years, and was moved down to Shelburne. Like many of you, I didn't know what to expect when starting college. I hadn't been in a classroom in, well, let's just say a few years. I was the only female in my class. I started the first week off sitting by myself, keeping fairly quiet, and focusing in on the classroom. The second week, my best friend got accepted, and my attention span went a little bit downhill. <laughs> Thankfully, we had Kurt, who was a fantastic instructor and did his best to keep us in line, although it was a challenge some days. If we weren't shouting to class on our walk through the halls, we were singing Shania Twain really loudly in the shop. <laughs> Having started out the year nervous and overwhelmed, I felt like I began to settle down as we all got into our new routines. The more I went to class and took in, the more I wanted to learn. I found myself doing things I hadn't realized I was previously capable of. I felt a great confidence growing within me, and it's one that I'm determined to take with me for the rest of my life. The school year finished out quite well. I'm leaving here determined to put my best foot forward and go into every day with a thirst for knowledge. It's an amazing feeling to see success on the horizon. We are all standing here today because we've overcome challenges. We've worked hard and persevered, passing any test that school and life has ever handed us. Constantly pushing ourselves and growing to reach the places we are today. Our latest accomplishment will conclude with us walking across the stage, receiving our certificates, and racing out the door to our cars. <laughs> Graduates, you should all be very proud of yourselves. You've put so much time and effort in, along with great determination and confidence in yourself, and it shows. All the effort has finally paid off, and we can finally say that we are on our way to fulfilling careers. Now I'd like to take a moment to thank all the faculty and staff. You've all had a hand in helping us students gain the knowledge and confidence we've needed to be standing here today. I've said since early on in the school year that I felt very grateful for having chosen Shelburne campus to be the one that I attended, and the feeling has never left me. With a small group of staff and students, NSCC Shelburne feels less like a school and more like a community. You're made to feel very welcome on day one, and that feeling never leaves, thanks to the help of these wonderful people. From instructors helping with projects and assignments to needing something as simple as a hug from Kelly at the security desk. <laughs> and you cannot talk about the school year and not mention Donna in the kitchen. <laughs> Seeing her smile every day was just such a joy and she always had a great story to tell you. It honestly felt like a home away from home. <laughs> now I'm going to start the waterworks, okay. <laughs> we must also acknowledge those that supported us and made it possible for us to have this college experience. I want to take, in a sec take a second to thank everybody in attendance. Parents, family, friends, mentors. You've encouraged us and kept us grounded all these years. We hope that you continue to support us in the next leg of our journey. Linus Pauling once said, satisfaction, is one's sorry, satisfaction of one's curiosity is one of the greatest sources of happiness in life. Graduates, I hope you leave here with a great drive and curiosity one that pushes you to think about the work that you're doing and the world around you. 
Those who go into the world curious will gain the most knowledge in and out of their field. They will become the innovators of tomorrow and find a deep sense of satisfaction in what they can do. So I hope when you leave here today, you leave here constantly curious as we enter a world of endless possibilities. And I hope you take advantage of all of that. Thank you. Thank you, Stephanie, for sharing your story with us today. Please accept this gift as a token of our appreciation. Thank you. Wasn't she wonderful? Thank you, Stephanie. You're a hard act to follow. This now brings us to the end of today's convocation proceedings. At the end of our ceremony, we ask you to join us in the room adjacent to the auditorium where we will have a lovely reception and you have a chance to congratulate the grads and have some refreshments. I want to take a special minute to just again thank all the employees who contributed to making this convocation ceremony a truly special one. I want to thank you all for being here, all of our guests, our families, our friends, to be here to honor our graduates. These graduates are our future, and from where I stand, our future looks really bright. Goodbye and good luck. Well, Louis, Convocation 2016 has now ended. Please stand for the recessional, and I would ask you to remain standing while the stage party, the faculty, and the staff and graduates leave the auditorium. Thank you once again.